Hey everyone. So in this video, I'm going to go over how to create a to-do application using React. So React is a great uh, JavaScript library that allows you to create components and then separate those components and combine them to create really cool applications. So uh, there's a previous tutorial on React which introduces some of the syntax and you can read over that tutorial if you um, haven't heard of React or if you're still new to it. Uh, so for this tutorial, we're going to create a folder. We'll call it React to do and we'll include these two files index.html and style.css so the style file is pretty simple I'll include this file um, in this tutorial so you can just copy and paste it and you know feel free to change some of the colors and the other styles so this is the uh, same starter code that was um, written in the previous react tutorial so here we're including three of the react scripts we need so here's the react library the React um, Virtual DOM, and then this is Babel, which will transpile the JSX code we write into JavaScript in the browser. So we have this, so to start off, we have this empty container where our to-do application will go. Here's where we'll write our to -do, um, React code. So it goes between these uh, script tags, text Babel, and when you run it in the browser, it'll automatically convert it to JavaScript. It'll convert the JSX to JavaScript. So to start off, we'll create three components for this application. So we'll have a to-do container, to-do, I'll just call it this container, and then we'll um, call React create class, Oops. and then pass in an object. And so what, right now, so we'll just create the components, and we'll worry about the functionality later. So we have this to-do container, and this will be the main um, to-do application. And so within here, we just need to have a render function. And this will return um, the elements we want to inject into the DOM. So here we'll return. So for example, we can do something like this. Hello. And now we're going to attach this. Um, we're going to insert this uh, component into the DOM. So we're going to do React. DOM render and then it takes two parameters the first one is the component and the second one is the um, DOM element so here we'll do to do up oh, there it is to do container no parameters comma and then document get element by ID and this is just JavaScript right here and we'll do container okay so now if we open up Chrome we should see hello so we basically and then if you look at the page source you could see that nothing changed um, the source is the same but if you inspect the element it actually body container it actually inserted a P element and gave it some attributes uh, okay so we just basically went over how to insert a really simple element into the DOM so here is where we'll structure our application so we're gonna have this to-do container will contain a few things. So it needs to return a single root um, element. So we'll return div ID and we'll call it to-do container. We'll, call, we'll give it the same name as the component. And then from here we'll do h1 react, react to-do. Okay, React do, and then we'll have a few other elements. So here we'll have a list item, hello world, and then we'll insert, um, we'll do that in a second actually. Okay, so now if we run this, we get, so we get the styles. Because of the style file, um, the whole container looks like this. It has the border bottom, the H1, and then this is how the list elements will look. So, now, okay, so we have this container. Now we're going to have this um, to-do application is going to have two other parts. So this container will contain other components. And the two components we need for this to-do list are the list items. So each of these list items will be a single item component. And then at the bottom we'll have um, an input area where you can input new list items for your to-do list. So those are two components we need to add. So here we'll add them. And we'll call it to-do item. So there to do uh, item equals, so 
let's copy this react class object and once again we need to return we need to have a render function and we will return so here we'll return uh, a list item list list and we'll give it a class name so here we have to use the react um, attribute class name class name and we'll give it the same name to do item and then within here we can we'll enter in so the list item will have I am an item and then it'll have some options like uh, let's give it a span so we're gonna have two spans one will be for marking the item as complete and another will be marking it for deletion so we can remove it so span span uh, we'll give this one a class name of remove and then this one will be finished so you can mark it as complete and then we'll just enter in some text remove finished so now if we so now we have this to do item but we need to include it in our main to do application so here where we're writing this list item we can actually include um, another component so we just do this so we've, we've included a single list item component so now if we run this we get I am an item remove finished so hold on the style is a bit messed up uh, class name ran ah, okay so we need to have this within a span as well it can't be by itself or we can give it a p element span I am an item and so now if we run this we have so the styles come with um the styles come within the, with this app. I'll attach it to this uh, tutorial, so you can just copy and paste it. But you know, normally without the styles, the app would just be in the upper left corner here, and it would just be text. But so right now we have this uh, to do container, and then we have this um, component. So this whole thing is a component, and it contains an item component. And finish and remove don't do anything yet. We didn't add any events. So now that we have this basic this basic to do item component, we have this whole app component. We'll just add one more component at the bottom and that will be the input. So we'll do the same thing, except we'll give it a different name to do input, create class. Oops. Let's actually do this, no, let's leave this. Okay, so now we need to have a render function. Oops. So render is called uh, when the component is trying to be uh, rendered into the DOM. So now we return the element we want. So we will return a div, div class name. And we'll give it the same class name to do input. And so here we'll have two things. We need to have an input box or a uh, text area and then a button. So we'll do input type text. And then the placeholder. Uh, to do and then so that's this input area and then we just need input type equals submit Oops. submit value uh, add and then that's that's all so we're returning this div and within this div we have an input text um, input type text and then input type submit so now we need to include this component within our within our main component so we will just include it right here so we have h1 react to do and then we are in, uh, including a component and we're including another component so that's the great thing about react you can just include components within another so now if we run this we have a nice input area it doesn't do anything right now but this is how it looks so far so Actually, so I think the style, so because we're gonna have list items here, so to do item is, it returns a list element. So we actually wanna include, I forgot about this, we wanna include these within an unordered list. Include to do item. Okay, so now if we run it, oops. Okay, the styles are a bit different now, okay. So right now we just included three components um, all we're doing, we have no functionality or events yet. We just um, 
we're defining the render function, which returns a element we're going to put into the DOM. So this to-do item returns a list item. This render function returns an, a div, which will contain the input. And this to-do container is basically our main app where other components live. Uh, and so right now you might not be seeing how um, what you can do with React. It just looks like we made uh, three JavaScript objects that we included within another. But you'll see in the next video um, that you can focus your functions and events to a component. You don't have to worry about having um, functions for components living outside of themselves. So the functions for this container will live here. This, function, this component will contain state, as you'll see in the next tutorial. Um, yeah, so in the next tutorial, we'll go over events and how to make this to-do app um, work.